everyone it's Chris welcome back to my parlor and today I want to share a haul with you I went to the op shop on Monday and purchased quite a few little items that I would like to share with you I bought them from Save the Children fun, uh, op shop and Red Cross op shop and RSPCA op shop um, my son volunteers at the Save the Children op shop and um, I went in there on Monday just to um, see what the, their shop had and I bought a few things from there and I'll share extra things from there um, at a later stage. Um, some new dolls <laughs> um, to add to my collection and my space is now almost full. What you see here in front of you is um, my reading table of course but it's a bit crowded and it's a bit overwhelming at the moment this is just a temporary um, setup when I find space for my things um, which I'm planning I have rearranged things so I can find space um, I will be doing a new um, new layout for you a new vision for you to look at which makes it easier when I do my pick cards because then I can have them one, two or three, quite clearly I've been requested to um, to make those readings choices more clear, which is fair enough, it, it's a fair enough, I used to be able to do that because I had space, now I haven't got quite so much space, it makes things a little bit difficult, but I will be getting back into making one, two and three choices more visually um, appealing and able to be chosen from uh, clearly. Yes, so to start off with my um, op shop haul, most of it's for my bath bombs, um, which I'll be starting very soon because I've almost got everything con um, put together for those. So we'll be doing those in the learning curve for both of us, for me especially because I haven't made bath bombs before. So it'll be a learning um, process for me to work out how to do them successfully. And then, of course, I will do a um, a demo of how they work. So if they flop, they flop. If they don't, they don't. So it's going to be one of those things we learn as we go. And if you wanted to join along with me, um, you can. That would be wonderful. If it's not your cup of tea or not your bath, as it were, uh, then you can find something else to um, to amuse you on this channel, hopefully. So it's a mishmash, mishmash um, all sorts channel. I'd have a bit of everything, so because this is the way that I want it to be. So let's have a look at the haul. The first things that I bought, and I'll show them to you. And if I have the prices still on them, I'll show you that too. This is a bath bomb mould. Want to make little cupcakes um, or cheesecakes, maybe even. This was two dollars from Save the Children, so it's a nice little. Um, it's thin, but that's okay. Thin can do as well, especially for some of the things that I want to accomplish with some of my bath bombs. So that's the first thing I bought, or one of the first things I bought. <clears throat> I bought this one as well, a little <laughs> unicorn mould with these little spots on them. They're reasonably um, thick, so they should be right for bath bombs. And that was $2 too. That was, for, oh, sorry, I went to Vinnie's as well. And this is where I purchased this. This is from Vinnie's for $2, which is not a bad price. Yeah, I did buy a bit of Vinnie's as well, which I will show you for those items too. I also bought a new book from Save the Children, Nikki French, The Favour. A good deed can turn deadly. So... I haven't read Vic Nikki French yet, so it'll be interesting. This was four dollars. So I'll start that as soon as 
it happens I haven't been reading much this month so I won't have much to share with you at the end of the month of um, this month's reading list I found another doll oh, okay I read, meant to Red Cross as well there's five all together there's Red Cross, Vinnie's, RSPCA, Save the Children and Salvos so maybe went into all of them I don't know. This is another little doll, another Walder cousin, dressed uh, in Australian period costume. She was expensive. Um, she's the early settlers doll. She was um, eight dollars actually um, from Red Cross, um, but she's got all of her clothes there and her little booties and things and she's got the chest plate which I associate with Walder Cousins so she's quite a nice little doll she'll add to my collection perhaps my haunted house dolls or my lost souls dolls <laughs> banana split bowl for my bath bombs just for demonstration, just for like decoration, put the bath bombs on to keep them out of the water before I put them in the water. That was 50 cents. Got a little milk jug to add oils and things and um, bubble baths and that to my bath. This was um, $3.00 from Red Cross but it's plain so it'll go with all of my items so it won't be um, clashing with anything I also got a set of playing cards these were three dollars from Red Cross here's yeah, three dollars from Red Cross can't quite see that <laughs> but the tickets there and it comes with a box and a tin which is really good for um, storing my decks it comes with a little score pad so it's obviously been um, designed for bridge a little pencil and the two decks which haven't been opened yet which I will open them a bit later on and put them in my collection so that's pretty good um, for something different three dollars for two uh, card decks playing card decks so that's another item I also got these for two dollars some more molds I'll open them for you now to see what I got and this one came from um, So two dollars, which is not too bad, and that was from Red Cross. There's a set of one, two, three, four. Okay, so these ones are all the same. Little smiley faces. Little smiley faces. <laughs> And I might use all of them too, depending on how much ingredients I have. So little smiley faces and little chocolate um, lollipop kind of uh, mould as well. So I put little lollipops in there, which would be quite good too. So that's what I got from Red Cross as well. 
Now, from Vinnie's, I've got these items. It's like a little mini ice bucket. Little mini ice bucket. This was four dollars, which is pretty good. And you may remember I found this in an up shop when I was down at my daughter's. How perfect. Oops, I knew I was buying it for a reason. How perfect is that? Little tongs to pick up the ice cubes or whatever else I'm going to be putting in there for my baths. Little bath bombs. Maybe I'm a little smiley face bath bombs. Who knows? So that's pretty good. It hasn't got a brand on it, but it's got some etching, um, which I like. There was another one there. Actually, I saw three shops that had little ice buckets. Um, two, they had two in um, Vinnie's. They had one in uh, Red Cross and they had one in Salvo's. Um, but this one was the nicest by far and the cheapest one as well. And luckily I had the little tongs already purchased. So I'm quite happy with that setup. And the last item that I found at Vinnie's. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the lady in Vinnie's um, said I should check it out because it might be um, vintage, but it might be um, valuable because it reminds her of the Little Mermaid from Copenhagen. So it's probably a um, vintage souvenir from Copenhagen. So, and it's like pearlized opalized um that was five dollars which is pretty good so i'm thinking that's probably what it is because she looks very well she is the um little mermaid from copenhagen um so she's probably was a um a vintage souvenir at one time but isn't she absolutely gorgeous i can't find this particular um item online to see the age or anything else but it looks fairly um, old uh, definitely vintage of some age maybe from the 60s um, 50s or 60s which is pretty good um, and it is the Little Mermaid from um, Copenhagen she's starting to transform back into human and that's part of the, um, the history of this particular um, statue and I will send you I'll, I'll link a bit of information about the little mermaid um, in the description box as well so that's probably what she was but isn't she absolutely gorgeous I just saw her then and just fell in love with her and had to purchase her so she came from Vinnie's and Vinnie's is really quite uh, reasonable in their prices um, as with most of the op shops around this way and being um, the major ones um, RSPCA is a little bit expensive um, Red Cross is getting there a little bit expensive but um, the others are pretty good Save the Children is really good pricing Salvos is good pricing um, and so is um, Vinnie's so, but depending on what you want to buy of course and people in the op shops do know the value of things so if something is of more value the price will increase as which is fair enough because um, you know a lot of people and I have too um, found things in op shops that I have sold on eBay for a little bit of a markup just so I can cover my purchase price and postage um, because I haven't used it but I do know that people might want it so I have done that and a lot of people do do that a lot of people do that are on eBay not all of them um, do find things like that for their shops and sell them which is fair enough it's it's a business and there's nothing wrong with that so long as everybody receives value for it as appropriate so the salvos get it or the 
Finney's get it or what have you. The op shop gets the money. Little church op shops get the money, and um, what have you. But I'm definitely not going to sell my Copenhagen Little Mermaid statue. She's just figurine. She's just absolutely gorgeous, um, and in good condition too. She's. You can see the glazing has been um, cracked, which adds to her appeal. And adds to the age, I do believe, making it vintage. But I think it's a souvenir from Copenhagen. I do believe that is what she is. But she's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll give you some details about that. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm coming back with um, two more videos for the rest of this week. My new dolls, which I have a story about, which is a really interesting story. Um, a one I think you might find um, interesting. I'll share that with you. And also to my bath bomb books that I have found. Um, so I can start my bath bombs. Yeah. So all is progressing slowly but surely. And soon I will have everything organised ready for more videos in my Craft With Me um, series. So, yeah, so thank you guys for joining me today, and as always, so many blessings.